country, music. Oh, it's dad. Suck a trench. I know what a spark plug does, jump on. <laughs> this. this isn't right. So you're having weird dreams as well. Not just Max. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Talk to him. Is that how William died? I think it was. Deboned by a truck? Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. We're gonna be late. Okay. Ah. Uh, let's say thanks. Oh, shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I that... see everything. Okay. Let's never thank him again. <laughs> I guess. Hello, Black Hell. Oh, is that Elliot? Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters <laughs> can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Huh. Well, I don't know if Chloe really likes this guy. It sounds pretty awful. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> it's a pity we can't turn back time like Max had. Max did. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. No? You the objective? Get DVD from Steph. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> Sci-fi poster. Yeah. Well, at least not for now. Sci-fi movie club. Right. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nathan in tights. Can't unsee. Is it really? Nathan in tights? 
Hey, Elliot. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. Can we talk to him more? See you in class. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, Steph. Uh, hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks, on my way. Alright. Can we... Graffiti something here? Prison wall? Probably the school wall? Drama nerds? Moving canvas? Yeah! So the picnic tables are there, so maybe we can start over here. Who's this? Skip. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. What's up? Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? <laughs> ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. That ass. Yeah, you know how I roll. Mm. What about Justin's mom? So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. Speaking of doing people favors... Ugh, yeah. Guess I've been hanging around Justin this morning. His odor must have latched onto me. Uh-huh. Glad to see all you high risks sticking together. High risks? <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. <laughs> uh, high risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. Hmm. <laughs> Do we want to talk about the show? So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. It seems cool. Uh, don't judge. You can't judge a girl by the elitist fascist school her mother makes her go to, you know? <laughs> I get that. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? <laughs> Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Great. Sounds pretty good. So, what did you think? Yeah, it was really good. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Yeah. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. He seems cool. Maybe he's actually one of the band members of the bands that have music for this game. Sounded like a real song. I mean, like a real official song for the game. From Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Yeah, she is. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Let's talk to her. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. 
Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Hmm. I don't want to ruin the mystery. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what STEM is. Mm -hmm. Well, things will turn around, I guess. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? <laughs> Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do we have over here? Final exams. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. Looks delicious. But fire's so pretty. Hmm. Yeah, you. You seem like the kind of girl that would like to see the world burn. Anti drag poster. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. Right. Well. Doping is not cool. I approve of that. Oh, hello. Something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. Let's doodle something. What should we write? Firework, firewalk, of course. Last night's show was too epic. That's nice. Awesome, Chloe. You have skills. What about this corner? Oh, you can smoke here. Do it. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Yeah, she um, didn't even ask. I if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now. And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. Yeah. Well, it was kind of uncalled for to post it without permission. Let's go. Maybe we have a bond to pick with Rachel before she becomes our bestie. What were the other graffiti about? Drama nerds, moving canvas. I think moving canvas could be something like something about the stage, maybe? 
dead white guy. Hmm. Okay, guess we'll need to find the right place to do some. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Yeah, she is. Let's sit on the crate. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Your life is pretty crazy, Chloe. And you're also defying the rules everywhere. Right now you are walking on the stage with the sign on it that says Specifically, not to walk on the stage. Yeah, let's go. Let's go be a rebel somewhere else. Oh, hello. You're probably gonna ask about the sign. Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Mm. How about minor infractions? How many minor infractions and a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero-tolerance policy. And yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? It was Justin. That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Actually, no. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, Principal Wells, oh, I get it. I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Uh, the guilty have rights. How did you become principal without learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment, a legal search and seizure? We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. High risk policy? Is it also policy to label certain students high risk and then single them out for special intimidation tactics? How do you know about that designation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? 
I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, <laughs> just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. Yeah, you are. You are really witty. Alright, let's find something else to vandalize. What's this? This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Hmm. Fire danger rating. Okay. Info sheet. Heaven's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. So Evan is the one behind the forest fire warnings. Has he drawn those himself or what? Flowers. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. Yeah, flowers are pretty nice. What do we have here? Victoria. With slightly longer hair, I think. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Ah, talk to her anyway. <gasps> Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Hmm. What about Rachel? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. <laughs> we murdered a man. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. <laughs> huh. Sabotage her homework. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was... Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. That's what you get for not doing your own homework. Oh, fountain. The future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. Hmm. Well, even the past is an asshole, apparently. Hello, Samantha. I don't know Samantha who Myers, you are. School wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Huh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Voida's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? <sighs> it's sad. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if 
people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Oh. She's a little awkward. Mm, let's talk to Justin. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. <laughs> Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Cloud of wit smoke. Dude, you need to freshen like a mofo. Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Word. Oh, well, good looking out, Bryce. Wanna hit? Like, right here? No, probably Thanks. should have gone to him first. <laughs> Alright, Justin being high as always. That's Evan with a fedora. That's strange. Hello. Ah, uh, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. <laughs> According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Mm. Why are you do think this? Doing is this is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Wildfires are awesome. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Not from That's pine true. Cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. No. <laughs> I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Anything to get out of class. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. <laughs> How seriously am I taking this right now? <laughs> Evan is an ass club. Smoke weed D bear. Eh, just sign there it. There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy. Home of tomorrow's leaders. Hmm. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Yeah. Human. Human cost wildfires aren't that cool. Blackwell Academy. Home of tomorrow's leaders. Yeah, okay. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Hmm, those are the dorms, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I think we need to go there, so... Can we do any other graffiti stuff here? I thought we would be able to... draw on the... stage. Will we get another incident with Principal Wells? Oh! Huh. 
Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Yeah, well, we already did that, so... Let's just go do stuff, was it? I'm so bad at remembering Steph names. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Yep. Steph. Stephanie and Mikey. Hello. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North. Blackwell's premiere indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. Let's go. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Mm, try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? Cool. <laughs> One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Ooh. What's it to you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Uh, sure. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> I'm totally an nice. elf barbarian. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you and greet it. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. <laughs> Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? <laughs> I once made a man give up. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. <laughs> to your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where hmm. do you wish to go? Mm. Prison camp. Yes, it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager. 
calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! <laughs> The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Hmm. <laughs> of course we need to intimidate, intimidate. him. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. <laughs> you can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. There you Shit. go. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. <laughs> so this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back. His scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Oh, dragons are. Everybody <laughs> knows that dragons are pussies. Oh, heck. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. Oh, heck. That was a mistake. The dragon can growl, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. <sighs> could make it You're taller. Short, I say, but I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be <laughs> way taller. No, no, please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. Oh, heck. Uh, uh, taste. I throw my axe around, badass style. Eat this, lizard. How oh, badass. Really we badass. won! 17! That's pretty badass. Nice so, one. Dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into <laughs> so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, she shook. <laughs> wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. <laughs> awesome. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? <laughs> hmm. Training ground? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! <laughs> you conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy Ew. shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. What could work? 
He's pretty heavy set. Fatal cleave? Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave! You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm awesome at this game. <laughs> it's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Yay. Oh. You'll pay for My this. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. <laughs> What's next? Well, guess there's nothing else left but the warlord's tent. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows, ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for <laughs> Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Huh. Annihilation Strike sounds awesome. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? Uh, That's bad, no. right? Not for me. As you <laughs> take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey? Roll a reflex save. Oh, Mikey. Oh, no. no. Right. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. Uh-oh. <laughs> this game is awesome. This game is awesome. <laughs> My feet? <laughs> Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Hmm. Huh. I don't think encouraging him will help. Um. Jump in front of Elamon. I Jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade. Lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. <laughs> We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Wing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. There you Fuck go. Yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clings to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, 
you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Sweet. Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. Yeah. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better Aww. to have died a hero than live as a coward. Yeah. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Maggie's got serious drawing skills. Oh, he already draw Calamastia with Elamon. Hmm. Nice. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Do you want to talk to us more? Thanks again for the game, Chloe. Super fun. Next time will be even better. Yeah, I actually hope there will be a next time. Hmm. Guess we'll have to head to class now. Don't think there's anything else to do. Unless I missed some, miss, missed some graffiti, but I really couldn't find any. What the oh, hell? Nathan! What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Yep, both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! No, don't throw his photos. Do something! Don't just stand there watching! Oh, stepping in means we have to backtalk. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. He made a mistake last time, so... What the hell did you just say to me? Uh, idiot? Idiot? You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Hmm. Well, Nathan's an easy target. How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. <laughs> You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What if he cries to when daddy? Nathan goes crying to oh, heck. Everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. You want a piece of this? A piece of your bromance? Your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? Think? Think? That's a fancy word for you, Drew. Careful with it. Oh, yes. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go, Samantha. Now give back his photos. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. 
pack two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Oh, fuck you, Nathan. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Yeah, nothing to see here anymore. Oh, text from mom. Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Love you too, mom. Okay, let's go to class now. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. That pic would actually make a sweet tattoo. Yeah, it would. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. <laughs> let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, good. You're here. Rachel has an interesting style. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This oh, is getting so as surreal as last night. So Not it's a theater good, Rachel. costume. Cool. Exquisite Rachel as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. <laughs> the question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Huh. <laughs> They're just waiting for me to answer. Miranda's an idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Guess we're friends now. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Maybe we can graffiti something over here. 
poster. Sweet collar, Pepe. <laughs> Should be life is drama. No. Oh. Can we sneak peek on Rachel while she's changing? Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Profited. Halo for Rachel. Save my life. Get some ink. <laughs> there you go. That's appropriate. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Hmm. Don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Where are all the pencils? I know it was you, Hayden. Hayden is a pencil hoarder. I'm gonna guess it's from... Logan. Dana, you are very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I... I would be into that. Guess who? <laughs> he tried to hide his homie. Rachel asked me to get her belt. I guess it's in the other room. Okay. Let's not sneak peek on her. Dish. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Is that like a button in there? If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. <laughs> I think you would be awesome at drama. You're so witty. Hey now, sharing is caring. Pencils for a stage manager only, aka Steph. Hmm. Computer? To internet or not to internet? Always internet. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Hmm. So, it's the same photo. Theater kids take themselves so seriously. Oh, okay. Rachel Amber playing Prospera, a newcomer to Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber blew the doors of her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams's A Streetcar Named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, booster fundraising, local history and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. Nathan Prescott playing Caliban, a favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay, Nathan hopes this performance of the Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports, photography and casual hangouts with his many friends. Well, it's good he has friends. Dana Ward playing Miranda. A sophomore, Dana has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Dana enjoys football, go, big, go Bigfoots, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. Hayden Jones playing Ferdinand. This show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He auditioned on a dare and, as it turns out, actually a really acting. The sophomore, his other interests include playing sports, herbals, <laughs> and taking long walks in the woods. Alright. Juliet Watson playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests include journalism and social activism, but she is very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel, the capricious and powerful spirit Prospera has enchanted and bound to do her magical bidding. Travis Keaton directing. A veteran of Broadway, Travis Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts, mentor and friend. He hopes it, 
this humble reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never to forget his motto, Ars, ars gratia artis. I don't know what that means, something about arts, I guess. Stage manager is Steph Genrich, tech crew Adam Glenn, Gina, Ga Gina Yao, Stella Hill, Jason Redford. Sound design is Brooke Scott. Okay, Brooke and Stella, we know. And Steph. Program cover slash poster is Evan Harris, right? Special thanks to Principal Wells, Rose Amber, who's that? Rachel's mom? Caroline Prescott, Helen Christensen, Bernadette Hoida, Samuel Taylor. Is that Sam? Yeah, I guess. And especially the Prescott Foundation. Of course. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Search it. It is pretty cool. I would wear that. Rachel looks so happy here. No, oh, it's Rachel's dad, I guess. There's Rachel's bell. Yep. I guess Got it. I'll go give this to Rachel now. This poster definitely says. Something. I can only read Quell. Huh. The other things I cannot make out. What could we. Oh, right. Okay. Flat. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent. Is that what got Mr. K to cast you? Slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. <laughs> Comment on it. What to say? What to say? <sighs> Slut shaming? <laughs> Sneaky Chloe. Slut shaming is so 2009. VC should know. Yep. So we shouldn't be missing many graffiti now. Oh. That didn't count as graffiti? Hmm. Interesting. I thought it would count. Let's talk more belt. Right. We are coming. We are coming. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bring it there. Let's go all lesbian. That was a cool costume. I really like your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Mm. Just this belt. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe, I know you are in lesbians with her. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Firewalk was pretty good. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. 
To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't have to end. Exactly. <laughs> How would you like to join me on a little field trip? <laughs> That's Rachel Lindberg on Roke. Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Yeah. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Hmm, that's a great idea. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. It's probably painful. This is a lot of makeup. <laughs> That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. <laughs> Much better. Here you go. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Rachel seems cold. 